today we are going to share a story of the transformation of a student innovator to a student entrepreneur. He began exploring robotics when he was in grade 5. Unlike others, his area of passion was technology, particularly robots. The first robot he ever built was made of cardboard. And his real journey started when he wanted his robot to move. And the rest is history. This intriguing and fascinating innovator is Aniket Kakade from Yavatmal. Let's meet Aniket and know more about his inspiring journey from the man himself. Hi Aniket, welcome to our program Changemakers. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing great and uh, thank you so much to the Ministry of Education and the Institute of Innovation Cell for uh, inviting me and for giving this opportunity. I'm really grateful for that. Thank you. So Aniket, your story, your journey is very intriguing, very interesting and we would like to know more about it. So please begin by telling us like what made you double in technology while the other kids of your age at that particular point of time were playing games and you know playing with toys. Well, uh, my journey started when I was in class 4th. So I was uh, 9 years old and uh, from that age I was curious about uh, technology and specifically about computers. So I wanted to learn how to use a computer and uh, what we can do in a computer about programming, uh, programming and robotics. And at that time I started to learn about computers. So basically I joined a simple institute uh, in my area to uh, about a computer course. And then somehow I get to know about robotics. I mean, so it was the summer vacations and I was playing with my friends and somehow we decided that we should make something a robot. Uh, or any other idea we could uh, uh, build like a remote control car or maybe a robot mm. and somehow we were three friends I was one of them and we decided to make a uh, any work on any idea and at that time we collected cardboards uh, buy some motors and LEDs and try to build uh, something by our own and somehow we created a, a cardboard robot and the question was in front of us like how we can make this robot to move, to act like a human. And we just connected the motors at the foot of that means uh, at the bottom of the robot. And, and obviously, when we connected the motor, the uh, robot uh, fell down. And with this uh, problem, I asked my father that why this uh, robot is, uh, means is not working properly. And then I get to know about that there is something, a uh, concept called gravity. I was in at that time fifth class. Mm -hmm. So that's how I started my journey. My father introduced to me, uh, uh, Vincent, I participated in various uh, workshops, robotic workshops in engineering colleges. But uh, this was a very difficult journey for me because at that time I used to, uh, I have to do a struggle uh, to learn anything about robotics or about new technology. I came from a background like Yavatmal, uh, from a location from Yavatmal, where there is no awareness about technology and innovation. And at the age when I started learning to uh, learning to do uh, learning about these things like robotics and innovation, uh, no institute or an engineering college was uh, allowing me to learn this thing. That they used to say, "Dear, abhi tumhari umar bahut kam hai, tum ye baad mein seekh lena." But uh, somehow I requested them, and I. Uh, participate in workshops, robotics workshops of engineering colleges. And from there, I learn about robotics. What is, means from very basic, what is a breadboard, what is a resistor, what are transistors, how we can code in a, a microprocessor. So that from basic things, I build a robot, a uh, voice controlled robot, which was operated on Android mobile. And we just have to give a voice commands to that robot. And uh, it can do the things which we want. So at first that robot which I built from the, doing the workshops that was basically a four wheel vehicle which was operated on Android mobile. But the thing was like I wanted to make it functional means like which application on a robot ka thi, use kar sakun. And at that time uh, I read news in the newspaper about the uh, farmer's death means Yavatmal or Vidarva region se mein aata aur waha pe uh, farmers ko bahut problem hota hai because of the chemicals and insecticides they spray and they spray it manually and because of that uh, direct contact with the chemicals hmm. okay uh, uh, aniket we'll go there later we'll just uh, uh, take a progression your innovation journey we'll talk about that a little later right okay 
so uh, right now uh, i'd like to know more about you know that stage that age when you were like 5 or 4 and you were like getting into you know knowing things and discovering things and later on you will of course go on to invent thing also so that age is uh, such that nobody really takes you very seriously so moving through navigating through those labyrinth of you know those uh, technology areas or talking to such people becomes really difficult because uh, of your age as you mentioned earlier also people don't really take you very seriously so how did you manage that did you uh, get disheartened or did you how did you cope with it well yeah i used to get uh, disheartened by the reactions that what people used to say like aapki abhi umr bahut kam hai and you cannot do all these things you have can you can do it later you just focus on the studies and all but uh, uh, there was one thing which is uh, uh, means this unique makes me uh, with, there is one thing Uh, which make me to do all these things and uh, to do it very passionately was the curiosity curiosity to learn new things curiosity to uh, explore and that's how i manage all the things and most importantly my parents were also the plays an important role because my father always gave me the freedom to learn what you want and that's how i manage all those things to uh, learn robotics and technology from the region i came So I'd like to remain in that age for a little more time. Tell me what all other things that you worked upon or all your innovation activities at that age with your friend groups, you know, and all others. Well, uh, first project which I built was an agroyan agricultural robot. As I mentioned, it was a mobile operated robot used to spray the chemicals and insecticides in the farm, and I received the national level awards for it. and the national level means a uh, national level apj abdul kalam award atal student innovator award and many other accolades like uh, my news also got published in a bbc youth ki awaaz to dash and one more thing was uh, in the covid time i built a project called sanato means uh, i added a functionality to the agroyan project which i built earlier which was used to uh, spray the or used for the sanitation purpose in the covid affected area where the people cannot go and uh, spray the sanitizers to prevent the covid so these were the two innovations which i worked and that somehow then i started my journey uh, as an entrepreneur after that so while you were going through all these innovations and you know trying to make a difference through your uh, acquired knowledge i mean i guess atal tinkering lab made a significant difference or made a good contribution to the Uh, you know all the work that you've been doing there. So tell us something about that uh, particular phase. Well, uh, Atal Innovation Mission has uh, means there was a Atal Tinkering Lab in our school, but uh, unfortunately means I was in at that time I was in tenth tenth class, uh, so I don't get to uh, opportunity to use Atal Tinkering Labs. But there were some other opportunities by Atal Innovation Mission was uh, Atal Student Innovator Award, and I participated in it. and somehow i got got that award and other opportunities to participate in other competitions get a support for atal innovation missions like uh, my story was published on the atal wall of fame and the that's how the atal innovation helps me to uh, connect with the uh, new technology and learn other things about technology okay great so that really helped you quite a bit so before we move on further and try to know your work as an innovator and as a entrepreneur I just want to go through one thing very briefly like what do you think about the research and innovation support that is there for the students of school level Well uh, I came from a back uh, located means Yuvatmal I came from Yuvatmal where there is no awareness about technology and innovation and uh, students like me those who are actually want to learn new things have to struggle a lot to uh, if they want to learn any new technology because there are no such resources available over here if i want to learn even a basic thing about computers or programming then i have to go online or to any other city to learn all those things so i believe that uh, the research or, or innovation should be implemented at a grassroots level with the students who are, uh, belong to a backward region or from the grassroots level their innovative ideas should get an opportunity uh, that their ideas should be get implement, implemented into a product they should also get to know about what is intellectual property rights how you can uh, convert your product into a proto- uh, prototype into a product what is a startup so at grassroots level innovation should innovation and research in research and innovation 
the awareness about should be created so you know all that you said just now what which you look forward to which you think should be there is actually very soon going to happen in form of innovation uh, centers which is uh, initiative of aict and mic so this is uh, something which is going to happen in all the innovation centers where an innovator is handheld and you know all these his needs are taken care of and you know technology support or startup support or patenting support all this would be provided so what do you think uh, uh, that kind of a setup is going to make difference to people like you and you know innovators like you uh, definitely i think like um well i believe that uh, students like me from uh, the grassroots level from uh, where i came from it will definitely help the students to learn new things and most importantly that each and every student like me i always wanted to contribute something towards my society and and i do it by developing projects working on new ideas and organizing competitions for the students and the in, institute of innovation cell whatever the activities and initi- initiatives they will taking at the grassroots level definitely help the students to learn things and to how they can contribute towards the society uh, through innovation through research and by working on different projects and ideas and most importantly that how they can utilize their knowledge to solve the uh, real world problems real life problems that's most important thing and i think it will help the students in that way great so aniket i would recommend you to get in touch with one of the nearest innovation centers and you know get cracking and that's really going to take you further than where you are right now so now let us come back to your entrepreneurial journey when did innovator turn into an entrepreneur and how did this transformation happen so as i already earlier mentioned that i used to face challenges because of my age and as i come from a backward region and there was a lack of resources but still i somehow get to manage and i uh, learn all those things and achieve a lot many uh, awards in the at the national and state level got an opportunity to uh, work at iit bombay and iit delhi got inspire award but what i realized that there are lot many students like me in my region or all over india that those who want to contribute something towards society but because of the lack of resources that lack of awareness about innovation and technology the students are not getting that opportunity and when i opportunity so that's how i decided that i should start an organization where the students will work for the students is a group of students those who are working in innovation sector we will work for the students those who are not getting that much opportunity and we will provide the resources and organize competitions and create opportunities for them so that's how i started my uh, entrepreneur journey back in 2017 uh, when i was in 7th class so uh, actually i started to learn uh, coding at that time and i write down the first line of code of uh, html means basic website de- website development and i wanted that कि मैं इस वेबसाइट को गूगल पे पब्लिश करूं कि कोई भी अगर इसे सर्च करे तो ये कि कोई भी इसे एक्सेस कर सके एंड एट दैट टाइम आई कीप द नेम ऑफ माय वेबसाइट एज एनफोसिस डॉट इन एंड दैट्स हाउ द एनफोसिस नेम वाज स्टार्टेड फॉर माय ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड फ्रॉम देयर आई स्टार्टेड वर्किंग ऑन डिफरेंट प्रोजेक्ट्स अंडर द नेम ऑफ एनफोसिस एंड आई ऑर्गेनाइज द कॉम्पिटिशंस लाइक इन द कोविड टाइम Uh, I organized a competition called Innovative Interview Competition for the students of fifth to twelfth, where they take uh, interviews of their parents, grandparents, and teachers, so that they could uh, it would help them to build their communication skills. How you can take an interview, and uh, all about the personality overall development. And one more competition which was uh, in space contest for to awareness about the astronomy and innovation among the students. and one more thing which i'd like to talk specifically about the pen bank which was the initiative that i started in uh, when i was in class 12 under my star, uh, organization uh, so under the pen bank we build a team of the students and what we used to do we used to collect the waste paints from the uh, schools and we used to collect them uh, and uh, we used to then transfer uh, this pen bank is basically an initiative where we uh, set up pen banks in the schools where the students have to drop their used pens and then these used pens we used to collect at the end of the month and then used to uh, think on on think on it that how we can recycle it how you can uh, reuse that pen so that's are some of the activities which i organized under my organization and that's how i started my entrepreneurship journey 
as i look at the problem that as a students we are facing lack of awareness about innovation and technology and i am continuously working on it and definitely work in the future so you are picking out problems in the areas pertaining to students around you and you know you are trying to pro- provide solutions through your uh, platform so great so uh, tell me something you know about uh, the monetization part have you been able to commercialize it also is it making money also or it is just at a social level right now well i i cannot say i have monetized it but i started with an investment means like whatever the cash prizes and prize money which i uh, achieved and received in my various competitions i started with that investment uh, all the competition i organized then i used to take uh, the like uh, entry fees for the competitions which are organized from the students and from that money i used to organize another competition so it's like uh, it's not monetized mm-hmm. but the money which i uh, receive from the competitions and the activities are organized i invest to organize another competitions and activities for the students you were able to create a self sustaining platform for yourself right yeah so great so uh, there's uh, another very notable thing which you mentioned briefly earlier about you know uh, working in the agricultural sector Uh, with the you know f- uh, farming sector you did something in that area also so that uh, is, is something which i would like to hear from you well in the agricultural sector as i mentioned uh, i built a project called agroyan and uh, it was used to spray the chemicals like insecticides and pesticides in the farm because it is a very serious issue in the vidarbha region uh, the farmers you have, have been uh, faced many challenges because of that manual chemical spraying uh, means most of the farmers have been uh, died because of that chemical spraying and most re- uh, important reason was the manual chemical spraying and i somehow uh, recognized and observed that problem that this need to be solved and when i built that robot uh, which i learn all as i mentioned about from the workshops i thought i should add this application to this uh, my robot of chemical spraying and that's how i uh, started my journey in the agricultural sector and try to solve the problems in the agricultural sector so i first uh, built that project and i wanted that this prototype whatever i have built i want that ki ye project actually mein farm mein kabhi istemal hona chahiye kisi farmer ke dwara aur ye karne ke liye mujhe uh, realize hua ki main exhibitions mein participate kar sakta hu and i get to know about the inspire exhibition which is organized by the uh, government of india central government and department of science and technology and that's how i learn in that process of exhibition from district state and national and presenting at iits mm-hmm. that there is a process uh, that where we can convert a prototype into product in which the intellectual property rights uh, means patenting is also involved i got uh, published my patent for that project then i do testing means like i visited the in house farming sites i actually interviewed the farmers in my region that how i can solve this problem and after testing and all i am working on that project that uh, definitely in the near future i will introduce it project into the uh, farms and will be used utilized by the uh, farmers okay so uh, i think it's a wonderful work and i hope and i pray that very soon it reaches the farmers and they you know start making best use of it so in in your view how much help will the community get from all the initiatives that you've taken what impact will it have on the community at large well my vision to start an organization and to organizing this competition just is like to create awareness about innovation and technology and the most important and impact i would like to think like uh students like me or those who want to contribute something towards society want to learn new things the most important thing is like we as a student whatever the knowledge we are acquiring whatever the uh, what we are learning we need to utilize that knowledge to solve the real life problems so that's how and actually the entrepreneurship journey or any organization started means even if i started my journey as an entrepreneur and intro- innovator maine ek pehle problem ko observe kiya that was the agri- in agriculture sector but whatever the knowledge i have i utilize that knowledge to solve that problem and this is the important thing as a student everyone should acquire ki main apne knowledge ko kisi problem ko solve karne ke liye utilize karu and this is the biggest impact i would say that all the initiatives that i am taking mera vision yahi hai ki ek student the knowledge ka istemal karke kisi real life problem ko solve kare and that's how they will uh, continue their journey wonderful anika that's a very wonderful uh, view to have a very wonderful vision to have 
and I'm sure you'll achieve that one day. But that one day, when is that uh, going to come? That is what I'm a little curious about. So where do you see yourself maybe two years down the line or you know, in the future? Where do you see yourself? When would you start actually coming into, onto the field and making actual difference on the field? Your ideas are great. They are very much implementable. So when do we see them in practice? How soon can we see that? Your future plans? Uh, well, in the if I uh, talk about the uh, initiatives, as I mentioned, I have also helped the students and there are a few of the students who are uh, uh, working in the innovation sector. As when I organized all these competitions, they connected with me and they are participating in the exhibitions, which I also participate. And few of the innovations are currently in the the students are working on innovations and in the near future my aim is like to first of all target all maharashtra implement these ideas and innovation uh, in, in initiatives and organize the competitions and all ideas at the maharashtra state level then moving forward i will uh, continue my journey at the national level so great uh, aniket uh, thanks for coming today and talking to us and I wish you all the best and all those dreams of yours, plans of yours may fructify in the very near future. So all the best for your future journey, Aniket. Thanks a lot for joining today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The story of Aniket underlines that you will encounter challenges and opportunities along the way. The key is to keep your eyes and ears open and your brain turned on. If you do that, you will be in a position to capitalize on the opportunities and to solve the hardest of challenges. And that can make a difference to humanity. With this, I would sign off for now, hoping that journey of Aniket will be an inspiration for our young minds. Goodbye.